Well, Kristen, police say the suspect came here to Kennedy Township to shoot her biological child and that child's foster family. Investigators say she purchased that gun, then legally changed her name, took a ride share here from Dauphin County, stepped out, fired nine rounds, then was taken to the ground by a stranger. I was four to six feet away when she shot. I could see the flash at six o'clock at night in that gun because that's how close she was. Dwayne Morozik says that's when everything went blank. Seconds earlier, he was walking his dog Chip past his neighbor's home when investigators say this woman, Kayla Many, seen here in police custody, stepped out of the back seat of a ride share and started shooting. I thought it was a joke. I thought she was she got out of the car and had, I thought the gun was a toy. And then when. She shot at me. Then Morozik says many turned and started shooting at his neighbor and his four kids who were walking. Police say one of those children is many's biological child with their new foster family. According to court papers, many was yelling. They took my baby and quote was trying to kill her kid. Morozik says he knew he had to step in. I actually punched her in the face once. I bit her somewhere up in here I'm trying to get the gun loose. Got the gun off her, just kind of threw it, threw her purse over this way. These images show many being taken into custody by an off-duty officer who lives in the neighborhood. And just how many times police say many fired? Nine. Investigators say many bought the gun under the name Kayla Harris. Then, according to this Dauphin County court record, she changed her name to Kayla many one month ago. Before police say she brought that gun here, opened fire, and encountered a neighbor ready to step in. I'm very happy that no one got hurt. If anyone's going to get shot and die, I would have wanted it to be me. Kayla Many, formerly Kayla Harris, is now here at Heritage Valley on a psychiatric hold. She has, however, been charged with 19 counts, including aggravated assault and recklessly endangering another person. Live in Kennedy Township, Marcy Cipriani, Pittsburgh's Action News.